How are the conditions? Actually, why are you even asking? I'm going. Please talk to me. And maybe that will calm me down. Oh, shit! It hit the bonnet! Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out unscathed. Yeah, the vehicle is, is kind of a Faraday cage. The, the energy will flow through the body and discharge into the ground. Everything will be fine. You'll see. I remember a mission on the Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. But the crew was quite similar. A chemist, a cyberneticist, a doctor, an engineer and a physicist. Simple reconnaissance mission. But there was a miscalculation and we crashed the rocket. Then we put it back together. <laughs> From whatever was on hand. It's quite a machine. A true Frankenstein's monster, so to speak. But even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of Eden. Oh, wait. Creatures? You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Uh, how far am I from the city's border? So considering how fast you're moving, if you're heading straight to the destination, as long as no structures collapse. You don't know, do you? It's not that simple. There are too many unknown variables. Status? How are you doing, Yasna? I'm still alive. The signal's just weak. Unfortunately, yes. But it's hardly surprising. I'm riding into a cave. The storm has subsided. Formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? 
I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bingo. Emmets are equipped with the black box. Please find it. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, you must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data lockers. Eureka. Cable access. Look for something resembling a socket. A plug. something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And press down. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. <sighs> same guts, eh? Just like with humans. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to do through all the records. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the flight? Uh, most probably. is transmitting from the base. I suggest you lie down. The storm is raging. <sighs> I'm going to sleep now. Wait, Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Luna? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Oh, 
the next is... I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Now let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. Should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. All you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. Astrogator, I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Astrogator, the city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. As in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Have you examined Merritt's body yet? I wired her brain to a grave tapper, if that's what you're asking. Yes. That's what I meant. Have you watched the memory recording? Yes, but they didn't say anything because the picture is ambiguous. To put it mildly, a lot of black dots. The graininess of the image is extremely bad. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. choice doctor at this stage of the mission we can only minimize losses you understand that don't you yes sir i wasn't keen on this mission from the start i was supposed to return a long time ago and that's what i want i want all of us to return home dead or alive please remember we have just one lander left as a commander i must first ensure your safe return only then i'll send Artie with other tasks What do you mean? You know very well what I mean, sir. I'm not coming back. Yes, sir. 
This is sheer madness. You're heading straight to the enemy base. This is the only way I can find out what's going on here. What happened to our people? Uh, I have several hours of travel ahead of me you can still turn back no and if you try to convince me otherwise i'll just turn the radio off fine i'll stop insisting please just understand the position you put me in as a commander now i have to decide whether to risk detection by the alliance because by putting yourself in their hands you're risking not only your own life i totally understand can't you wait a few more hours i still need your support sir <laughs> And I still want to be here to help you. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm not going anywhere. They're approaching their coordinates. Yes, no. Yes? I understand that no matter what I say won't change your mind. But please be careful. First, observe them from a distance, and only then take action. Won't they take me for one of their own? If I'm riding an Alliance rover, maybe they'd be more willing to talk when I return the lost vehicle to them. That's a risky idea. They think it's a trick, you'll only arouse more suspicion. Instead of asking questions, they'll start shooting. Anyway... You'd have to know their internal codes. They see you, but don't receive any signal. They'll immediately become suspicious. Hmm. All right. I'm just trying to think of something. that they can see the rover. The base is in front of me. Yes, sir, I'm not kidding. If you don't stop, I'll do it for you. What the? How did you do that? Yes, no. I respected your decision not to come back. For while I disapprove of it as a commander, I agree with your conscience. But I won't allow you to kill yourself in foolish haste. I turn the rover's engine off remotely, and I'm not turning it on until you've concluded your reconnaissance. Understood? Did you understand? Yes. Apparently I have no other choice. <laughs> 